let's look at an example of how to use the cubes method to solve word problems with this fraction problem. Finny made a delicious pizza. She ate one eighth of the pizza and gave three eighths of the pizza to her brother. What fraction of the pizza was left? Let's start with C for circling the numbers. One eighth and three eighths. Now U is to underline the question. What fraction of the pizza was left? B is for boxing any key words. Now I think here and is a key word because it gives me a hint that we're going to do some addition. And I also think was left are key words. And we'll see why later on. E is to evaluate and make a plan. Now when you're evaluating how to solve a problem, you really can use your own multiple intelligences to choose what works for you. I'm a visual learner, so I'm going to draw a picture of this problem. So I'm going to draw the pizza and I'm going to break it up into eighths. And I can see here with a J for Jenny, she had one eighth and she gave her brother, so I'll use B for brother, she gave her brother three eighths. One, two, three. So that gives me a really good visual representation of how much the, of the pizza was eaten and of how much was left. So now I need to solve and show my working and then check to make sure we've got the right answer. So what I did was one eighth plus three eighths. Our denominators are the same, so we just need to add across the top equals four eighths. And we can see that in how many of the eighths we coloured in. One, two, three, four. Now the question says what fraction of the pizza was left? In other words, how much wasn't eaten? Now in the picture, I can see that there are one, two, three, four eighths left. But how can I show this in my working? Well, one whole is equivalent to eight eighths. So I need to do eight eighths, take away four eighths to see how much was left. And again, our denominators are the same, so we can just subtract across the top. Eight take away four is four, and we come up with four eighths. And when I'm checking, it's always good with fractions to see if you can simplify. Four eighths is equivalent to one half, which is also really easy to see in the diagram. And that's how we use the cubes method to solve a word problem.